Well, we came up here about two years ago, but then for some reason I didn't like want to be up here. I had other plans where I wanted to be. So we ended up down in Florida and life was going okay. pretty fair. We were, uh, I had a full-time job. My wife was trying to be a stay-at-home mom, raising our son. Going good for about two years and then it just stopped. I mean, down in Florida, honestly, I felt trapped. I don't know about you. Yeah. But it's just, we couldn't make ends meet at the very end. It was just, it was really hard for us. Of course, wasn't listening to God. And so that job there didn't work out. Uh, we lost our house, not knowing what tomorrow was gonna bring. Yeah. Not knowing tomorrow was gonna bring the healing center. And we ended up living with Arlene. And of course she had some rules. <laughs> and one of the rules was you have to get plugged in with the healing center. The day after we came up here, Arlene was like, hey, let's go to the healing center. And we met with a assessor and she led us in a better direction of where we, what programs could help us the most and everything. And so when we left that first day, we were like, okay, we can do this. Uh, I wanna be a welder and I still, I, I need my high school diploma. So I got plugged in with HSE with Tommy Clifton and that started preparing me to take the high set. Got a little bit better at reading, had a better knowledge of math. And so that set me up to where I felt better at uh, the work keys tests. I took those tests and I even came home that night like, I think I passed that, <laughs> like that was easy. I actually have been able to go through some of the uh, faith and finance classes with my wife and Andy and Tom there help us set up better budgets. We went from that week to week of, you know, hey, I got paid, we need to get this, we need to get that, to where should we spend the money? Mm -hmm. Where should we be saving the money? And um, thanking God for every last penny we have. We have to remember to be faithful to Him in our finances and things like that. Yeah, that we don't just acquire money because yeah. we live here on earth and I have a job. It's all provided by God. I got plugged in with this job and just being blessed by that and having the programs at the healing center, having people to plug us in where we needed to go and encourage us, especially in times when we felt discouraged, mm -hmm. um, just letting us know that, hey, they're there and we're not alone. Yeah, they don't make us feel like we failed in the past. And then always asking us, hey, what are you doing now? Or how's school going? Or how's work going? And Russ, our self-sufficiency coach, who you know, I'll share with him some of my stories in the past. He's like, I've dealt with that same thing. And I'm like, oh, it's not just me. <laughs> um, and being able to talk to him about hard things, yeah. good things, some stuff that we're still walking out we can get through it and there is a tomorrow you have a future story